All right, guys. So uh, we're finally at home now. Uh, I'm gonna run the track this morning. Um, if I feel comfortable enough, the yard's cleared up enough. Uh, we're gonna get some run time in with this thing. I've got two packs right now, plus two more charging. Uh, we'll see how many we get to get through all today. Uh, I ain't got a whole lot of time left. Um, the only thing I broke on this so far is a tire. Which kind of sucks, but not a really big deal. Seen Proline just release new tires for these, so if I go through another tire, um, I probably will end up doing that. I don't know if the steering servo on this thing isn't as quick as I'd like it to be, though, so I might switch that out too. Um, I might actually be doing that with all my vehicles to the servo I usually use from Amazon. Um, it's because my fan on this thing's already loud. For the first couple of runs, it was really loud. don't turn as sharp as I'd like it to either. Let's see if we can get it to flip back around. There we go. It's not a good idea though to use that guys. It uh it really doing that really wrecks tires. I'm kind of having a hard time steering this thing. I did get the Mojave fixed now too. Uh, we might run that, but I don't know if that'll do today. Ooh, that could have been bad. We'll get one. I don't know, on that side, maybe the other side is better. Slash 4x4 just caught on fire or started smoking, so uh, make sure if you guys need to see that video, you go back into my videos. That one will be uploaded before this one. Like that. I don't know if I'd be able to do this off the street, guys. Let's go over here and see if we can get a backflip off this. So my pro line is so easy to backflip. I can't get one getting that high. Let's see what we can do.
nice thing about this truck is the power. Is it's just there. It's like. I don't consider myself a fanboy of any brand, honestly. But I'll have to say, I think I like this more than the Proline truck. Um, I actually did end up getting rid of my Proline. Not because I bought this or anything, but just because I wasn't really driving it anymore. And I knew someone else who wanted it more than me. So they ended up with it. I hate the plastic wheelie bars though Traxxas gives with these trucks. Um, like all their trucks actually, I should say. Because just about every truck they sell comes with these crappy plastic wheelie bars that are like this. It kind of just sucks. But yeah, usually I don't use that uh, the auto self right because uh, it does wreck stuff a lot. Um, another guy in one of my other videos of this truck, he's like, why don't you just use self right on everything? And that's cool, people want to use self right, you know, whatever. It's to their own, you know. It's not really my thing, usually. I'm using it today to show you guys. So we're going to use self right now again. And this is uh this hill is at an incline. Um, it works a lot better on flat ground, but it does still work on this hill. I'm just coming back here and playing. It's kind of neighbor's area, but I don't think he really cares. Those plastic wheels, and they just sound horrible on the cement. Yeah, that's the plastic wheels. It's just, it's just terrible. Tracks, just put some rubber on the wheels for these trucks. And I'm sure they probably do make an upgrade wheelie bar that this truck should come with, just like how this truck should come with the wide kit for the price of it. Uh, let's see if it'll work over there. It's kind of sitting weird. I don't think it will. Yeah, it's not gonna work. there. Man, it might work here. Look at that. That is a pretty cool feature that Traxxas does offer. Um.
Alright guys, so that's the first battery pack. Alright guys, so I wanted to give you my final thoughts on this uh, Traxxas Max. Not my final thoughts, but just some initial thoughts after running it the like five times I have now. It's a very fun truck. Um, the tires could be stronger. It should have came with the Wide Max kit. Um, but if you don't have one, I would say buy it unless you're looking at any e Revo. If you're looking at the e Revo, then buy the e Revo. If you already have an e Revo, go buy one of these. Um, it's kind of a spendy truck for what it is. Um, 529, but then again, you look at the pro line, you're going to spend like 400 bucks on the kit, plus $200 in brush system and whatnot, whatnot. So really, I think it's fair enough for the class it's in, for being a 4S, 110 scale monster truck. Um, I would maybe even call this a 1 9th scale, comparing it to the pro line. Um, not a, quite a 1 8 scale, but I'd say 1 9th is probably relatively about what it is. Um, so guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you slam that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you come back to see more. Thank you guys for watching.